Hey guys, it's Kirk from the Forever Homestead. So in this video, we are going to get the turbine, the wiring in, uh, get the turbine mounted to the tower, and uh, get the tower back up. there was a lot less snow um, we got the tower up I know the uh, video cut out at the end of that last video um, and I didn't have any more batteries so the tower uh, was raised 63 feet um, all the guidelines are put on um, and then we had a massive windstorm uh, and everything it dealt with it pretty well so no issues with the tower at all currently have the tower down uh, and I'm going to pull in this uh, SOW cable. Uh, more or less, it's like a giant extension cord. Uh, it's a three conductor, um, 10 gauge cable. Um, so I have it hooked onto a strainer leaf here, and I got a fish tape running through the whole length of the turbine, or the tower, sorry. And I'm just going to see if I can pull that in. Um, So I've got the wire through. I need to cut another strip back about another foot um, of the insulation. And then this uh, contraption here uh, slips down over top of the, once I'm at the right length, I'll slip it over the top of this the sheath. Um, and then this hangs from a bolt inside of the turbine tower there. Um, and it's strained much. The harder you pull, it tightens up. So once this is on this black stuff, it'll be better. All right, so we got the wire up through it. Got the end sticking out here. Uh, this pipe I've made. Um, so you can see there's a hole here. Maybe you can't see it, but there's a hole here, threaded hole. Uh, and then here, there's one that goes all the way through. Um, so I'm going to connect this up to the turbine, um, solder it all and all that kind of stuff, and then I can get the all the other bolts to mount that. These two bolts actually go into the, the shaft on the turbine itself. So this is the so this is the turbine we're using. This is the Istabreeze I2000. It is a 2,000 watt uh, turbine, uh, 48 volt. Um, it, uh, based on the videos I watched on it, it's one of the better ones out there. Uh, it's 2,000 watt, although I doubt we'll ever get 2,000 watt out of it. You know, when they spec these things, they kind of go to the very max and the most ideal conditions. But um, so this is the main unit of it. Um, the blades, three blades, go on to the a shaft that goes here, uh, and then the tail. What I'm going to do right now is uh, these three lines here, these three wires have to connect up to the ones that I just ran. Um, and to do that, we bought these uh, waterproof heat shrink tubes. Um, so you crimp them on and then you um, heat them up and they, they uh, make a watertight seal, a water resistance. So we've got everything assembled now. Uh, i got the three blades on. Um, nose cones on and then the tail section is on um, so I'm gonna raise it um, I need to swap out the last oh sorry so I've got the temporary electrical run uh, I got 10-3 coming down the pole I've got an 8-4 coming over to here and then I've got a 10-3 extension cord going into the controller right now I have it all shorted out so the brakes on um, so I can raise it, make sure it's going to go up okay, um, and then I will uh, release the brake and see what things do. Alright, so uh, we're finally ready. We're going to get the tower up, um, turbines on, um, we're all good to go. Uh, everything's tight, everything's checked over, and we will uh, get it raised up, uh, get it leveled, and uh, get it into service.
Well, I saw you Setting the mood like a light in the smoky room Dancing to the blues like a disco groove Catching every eye When I saw you Looking at me with a smile like you wanted me Saying, boy, come on, will I break, be gone I just had to try You just move, baby Just move up this morning waking up before it's getting nine got a heavy on my shoulders tracking down some moments back in time i could swore that i was in it down to every minute don't know what i was sipping but I felt okay so now the tower is down uh it's still not attached on the back here so we have to slowly and carefully disconnect the the back stays here um off of the gin pole and connect them up to the the actual anchor in the ground. Um, it's a little bit, it feels a little bit hectic doing it because the tower is so floppy at this point, like it, it bounces around. So um, I just go slow and steady and, and uh, everything should work out. Okay, and then uh, starting with the first one on here. So we're gonna slowly pull off the, this is the lowest one. And as long as we keep tension on it, everything goes fairly smooth.
Okay, so here we are on the powerhouse. Uh, so this is the extension cord, uh, 10 gauge extension cord um, coming from the turbine. Uh, so it goes into these switches here. Um, this uh, clipper unit is by Missouri Wind and Solar. Um, so they had it all pre-assembled. There's some things on it that I'm not super excited about, but I'll go over those in a future video. Um, originally the turbine that I was buying was a um, three phase, so six wires coming off of it. I ended up changing my mind on the turbine and I didn't buy the one from Missouri. Um, and I bought I bought the Instabreeze instead. So I'm only actually using three of the three of the wires, so I could add another turbine to it. Um, but anyway, right now it's on break. Um, and I am working on tying this panel into our um, Outback uh, GS load center. I think that's what that's called. Um, so this this unit here, um, it's missing a few things. They just have they don't. I don't think this is uh, up to Canadian code. I'm not 100% sure. So I have to make some changes on it, but. Um, from Missouri, it just has these cables coiled up um, with a strain relief on it. So I'm actually taking that off and I'm putting in conduit and doing a hard conduit into the uh, the load center here. Um, so these two cables here need to feed in to the load center. Um, it's currently live in here, so I'm not going to be sticking my fingers in yet. But um, I don't know if you could see back. So if you look back, right about where my finger is there, there is the negative terminal um, for the charge controller and then the positive terminal is down here. Uh, so I just need to tie these two into that. Uh, but to do that, I have to turn power off to the house. So I'm going to uh, de-energize the, the solar system, uh, turn off the arrays and everything, um, and uh, get this done as quickly as I can so I can get power restored to the house. Like all good hydro companies, I did uh, give the whole household uh, 24 hours notice that the power is going out, um, which is more than uh, Mother Nature does sometimes when uh, we run out of batteries. But um, yeah, I don't know if I could set you down anywhere for this. So uh, I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, so we have conduit in there. Uh, the cover's still off that breaker. Uh, wires go in there. Uh, and then one side goes uh, to this shunt here. Uh, and the, sorry, the one side, the, the negative is going up to a shunt right there. Uh, and then the positive goes here where, where all the PV, uh, the other charge controllers are all tied in here as well. So we will turn the main power back on. Uh, we actually have the startup procedure written on the wall here. Um, but uh, let's get this back going here. So we got things put back together. Uh, power's back on. Uh, solar is back up. Not really a great day as far as solar goes. Let me bring it in 99 watts. 37, 37. Yeah, not doing, not doing a lot of sun and not doing any wind. The turbine's not even spinning right now, so that sucks. Of course, it's windy all day, and the minute I want to test this thing, it's not uh, not functioning. Um, but a uh, few more details. Uh, I need to clean up my my networking here, um, and then I need to connect the battery temperature monitor um, down to one of the batteries, um, and I'll secure some of these cables and stuff. But for now, uh, I am going to go in and see if I can get this charge controller hooked up to the. Uh, to the home automation system like the other ones are. Um, once we uh, start producing a little bit of power, I'll uh, see if I can capture some of that and uh, let you see what that's like. It is a beautiful sunny day today. Not very windy at all. Uh, we've probably got maybe a, probably less than 100 watts coming in on the turbine. Um, it has been up now for probably three weeks, up and running. We've had a couple of really good windstorms. We had one windstorm that was blowing probably uh, probably almost 100 kilometer an hour wind. So um, I'm, I'm sure the cables have stretched out a little bit. Um, so I will, you know, double check all those, retighten everything, 
um, and I thought I might as well share so, it with you. Uh, that about wraps up this uh, little mini series we had on the turbine, uh, at least for this the initial build. Um, uh, in the spring, I'm still going to have to do a little bit of work out here. I got a uh, trench in a uh, or uh, trench in the electrical buried conduit and all that kind of stuff and then need to do a pretty major cleanup in the yard here to make the <laughs> raising and lowering a lot easier um, remember if you like these videos uh, make sure you subscribe click the bell for notifications and all that it really helps our channel grow um, there's going to be a lot more off-grid videos coming up in the future um, we've got a lot of things we've been off-grid for five years now so we've been learning a lot and we're going to start to put some of it down into video um, just to kind of get out there what it is like living off grid. Um, but there'll be more about that next time. Uh, until then, have a good one.